Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayan, and this is The Groom. And for our midweek movie with The Groom, we decided to do it on a Monday because it is Christmas Eve. Why not? We're festive. We're festive, as you can see. So, what did we watch? We watched the 2016 film Red Christmas, which is directed by Craig Anderson and stars Dee Wallace of the wonderful horror actress fame. Um... So the movie opens up inside a uh, like a women's health cl clinic, which happens to do ab abortions there, and they're performing an abortion. And some religious radical fanatic comes in there with a suitcase and blows everything up. Well, that doesn't completely destroy the building, but destroy it hurts a bunch of people, destroys a bunch of stuff, and creepily slowly saunters into the room and steals the baby that was supposed to be aborted. And leaves with it. And then it cuts to 20 years later. And it cuts to a widow with her family. And it's Christmas. And they're constantly bickering. You know, there's a difference in views between the one that's married to a priest. And the one who loves his medical mar marijuana. And the very sexually advantageous couple. And there's constant bickering going on. And then the doorbell rings and some cloaked, bandaged person shows up there, very slow in speech, talking about, I want to read this letter from my mother. And, you know, they let him in there and he starts to talk of this bombing 20 years ago. The mom freaks out, kicks the guy out, and nobody can understand why. And then this cloaked figure comes back. And that's when all hell breaks loose. And then you recall the very beginning of the movie and you're like, oh. Yeah, you can kind of start putting stuff together right then and there. The other thing that's worth noting is they're on this island in Australia. That's where their, ha ha that's where their house is. So any help is going to be very hard for them to get to. You know, that traditional, you know, your traditional slasher home invasion kind of, uh, kind of, kind of movie. But... You know, I enjoyed parts of this. What did you like about this movie? I really love Dee Wallace. She's great. I think she's awesome. I believe that she's aged well. I'm visually impaired, so I need a little... Oh, yeah. She oh, looked yeah. good. She has. She looked good. She has aged great. She looked great. I loved that um, this movie reminded me of that one episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia when they realized that Charlie was the abortion survivor. And it made me laugh because I love that show. Yeah, who does? It's so great. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed the kills, and I don't want to give any anything away because almost all the kills are, are kind of like the suspenseful surprise. So it's kind of like some of them you see coming right before they happen. Some of them really surprise you. So I don't want to give that, that anything away in that sense. But I really enjoyed the kills. I thought they were, a couple of them were like a dead surprise. I would, while we watched the movie, I was like, oh my god! You know, and they kind of go back and forth between showing you everything and then only showing you the aftermath and only showing you, you know, the 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 actual kill. That was kind of a good mix-up, a little hodgepodge, if you will, there that was, uh, you know, I really enjoyed that aspect of it. What did you not like about it? I'll give a bonus, like, I'm excited that we watched a movie together on Christmas Eve. I'm sad that it wasn't Krampus or Santa's sleigh because I didn't feel like digging out the DVD. It's in here somewhere. Or paying $4 for it on Prime. Oh my god, paying $3 but for Krampus. But we had never heard of this movie, so... What, it, what was the question? It was one of those, you typed in Krampus, and it was like, other titles you may enjoy. And I was like, hey, everybody's reviewing Black Christmas and everything. Let's do Red Christmas. I've never heard of that. I love Black Christmas. Um, What didn't you like about the movie? I didn't like the really slow pacing. I thought that some of the sound effects were just not compatible with what was happening action-wise in the scene, like... Some of the, the sounds of maybe entrails hitting the ground were like, N no, that's that's completely you're off. You're dead on. It took forever to get... Like, you had you had action in the very beginning mm -hmm. with the, with and the then Women's the, Health Center. The build-up was just so, like, 
oh, come on. Like, I'm tired. Come on. It took and, forever. And then it was like they had they had something right there in the beginning of the house scenes. And then it just drug on. They drug out the whole family dynamic so much. It was like, I don't need that much backstory. No, I just don't care. You know? I just... So. I mean, even with the the action part of the movie, it took forever. Like, get to the point. I want to see some kills. And that's another thing. Die. I wanted to see... A full kill. I wanted to see the person creeping up on their victim. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see contact. I want to see a lot of guts. And I want to see the aftermath. And he didn't give that to me. And I was pissed. Wait, you have to have that. I don't. I need that. Use my imagination. Well, I like gore. Imagination. <laughs> what did um, you not like? Other than that, because that, 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 that was my strongest di dislike. The other thing I didn't like was it's just the I didn't like the char the characters like at at like all. I didn't like the like like the like the family. I thought I thought the I thought the killer was done well. I thought that that was done really 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 good. Okay. But the the holier than now uh priest husband versus like the pot smoking cool sexually advantageous couple it's just like everything was so overdone you didn't need to do that much to show that there's a contrast between the two sisters you didn't need to do everything you did the completely unnecessary banging the pregnant chick in the bathtub scene was weird was with the priest creep it was weird oh and he's like oh drop my keys yeah I was, that was such that was so unnecessary it it feels like they made this movie and went shit it's only an hour long well let's shove 45 minutes of bullshit in the house between the family let's as a shove pillar. an incredibly long drawn out scene where they invite what, what was his name joe i think it was into the house, and we're gonna give him a jar of peanuts and talk about that for twenty minutes. That was so bad. And then we're gonna let him read a letter, that's gonna take another forty minutes, and then we'll have some action. Just kidding, we're not. We're gonna have more arguing about meringue and if you put it in the fucking fridge or not. And you do. You put it in the goddamn fridge because it's made of dairy. I don't care. <laughs> that's not an argument for a horror movie. No. Um. So. On your magical five star rating system, what do you give? You only go one out of five. One point five. It's, it's Christmas. Christmas Eve. Why not? <laughs> um, I I will give this a solid two. I thought that the story I felt like this movie was a solid two. <laughs> a big number two. <laughs> no, I I thought like I enjoyed the kills. I thought they were de decent. The the characters were bad. The story is good i think this story could be done a lot better maybe you know um but d d wallace has solid acting she's great she saved this from being a zero yeah literally gave it one star because of d because of d's acting and one star because i really enjoyed the kills because you know i like the like hold on wait how the hell did that happen i love that i love the sus that suspense aspect of it so I, I guess I should also say I'm not a fan of home invasion movies, and that's what this felt like. But it was like supposed to be like a psychological thing, and that's what I like. It's like a psychological. It didn't pull threat. it off though. It's a psychological slasher. It's not Just though, because like it movie. wasn't successful. Just like another movie. Don't I say like. cry wolf. Cry underscore Anyways. wolf. Anyways. <laughs> so where did we find this? We found this on Netflix. It was on the Netflix. Streaming. Streaming on the on the Netflix. It came out two years ago, so it's available on DVD. Good luck finding it. This seems kind of like a tank bomb movie. It seems a bit low budget as well. So. It is. It's kind of like they used the they used all the money on D Wallace's sal the salary. Like here you go, D. We're gonna give well, you no, all the money. Well, no, she was. It feels like she was a big part of the movie as well. I believe she was a producer. Yeah, she was a executive so, producer. So I mean, watch it and buy I love it you, to, D. Wallace. to support D Wallace. Yeah. Just you know. like I love watching Insidious to support Lin Shay. Lin Shay is awesome. I love Lin Shay. 
But um, so I guess that's it. Yeah. Where can they find you? So, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Leave a comment with your thoughts down below. Would you watch this over Black Christmas? Which Black Christmas do you prefer? Have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts on D. Wallace? Leave us a comment. Send us a tweet. Also, don't forget to like the video and hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Instagram and Twitter at Reanimator. Also, my solo and reviews with the groom are available on iTunes via the Farsighted Network. Please also check them out on Facebook, the Farsighted Network. Awesome, awesome creators. Where can they find you? You can find me on... Twitter at repeat groom Ray. You can also find me on Twitch where I play video games with my idiot friends and we have a lot, lots and lots of good times. You can find me uh, under my name on Twitch at repeat Ray Animator. So come follow, subscribe, join. It's all a wonderful, fun community we have here. Tis. Tis the season to join and follow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Literally. Oh my God. Ah! <laughs> all right. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all next time.